sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit of strong urging from somebody who's over us in our lives when they say, get up, rise up from that defeated. But well, we're stuck. We can't move on. We can't get close to the promised land. Why there's a river that's blocking us. And God says, I have a solution for you. What's that? Get up and just get over it. Do whatever it takes. Get over it. Stop letting it control your life. Stop letting it determine the boundary in your life. Stop saying, I can't make it over there where there's joy, where there's happiness, where there's peace. I got this thing. I got this hang up. I got this thing that's always in my way. It stops me. And we want so God to say, oh, little poor little girl. Oh, poor little boy. I feel so bad for you. God's not going to do that. He's going to say, get up. Strap your sword on that I gave you. Why do you think I gave you a sword? It's not to cut the bread or the salami. It's to carve up the enemies that are opposing you. Get up, put your sword on, put your shield on, put your helmet of salvation on and get over that situation. Get to the promises because the promise, how many of us know that God's promises are on the other side of that situation? They're on the other side. Until you get up and get over it, you're not going anywhere. So he told this man, first you got to be made whole. Then he said, now get up and do the impossible. Get up.